Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm literally sat here with my Ninja Foodie right in front of me, propped up on a coffee table because I have absolutely no idea how to film this video in my kitchen. I don't have a kitchen island, so I can't film myself with the camera in front of me and also the Ninja to show you what I'm doing. But I've wanted to film this video for the longest time and this is the best way that I can do this. But since I bought my Foodie, I've been obsessed with trying to find hacks and accessories and just bits that will fit inside this so I can cook multiple things all at the same time just to make my life a little bit easier and I've done a little bit of research and all the videos I found on YouTube are literally from American content creators and a lot of the products we either can't buy in the UK or they're quite expensive like when you convert it or with the shipping or just they're just expensive so I just want to show you a few hacks that I found that really help me cook multiple things in here at the same time so just in case you haven't watched my first video where I reviewed this I've got the Ninja Foodie Max 9-in-1, I think it's called AP500 UK, that's the model number of it. I would lift it up and show you but I just don't have the upper body strength. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, There we go, this is my Ninja Foodie and it is a beast. But let me show you, so I got mine on a Black Friday deal so I got quite a few accessories for free with it. It came with this air fry basket and that is mainly what I use because I love the air fryer but we are a family of two and this you can cook for up to six people in I think so we never fill it with like one thing because if I was a family of six I'd probably fill this whole basket if I was air frying chips for example but I mean I love chips but we're never gonna eat that many so now what I do is say for example I want to air fry chips and some frozen burgers for example this is my favorite hack instead of doing one at a time and then one goes cold or doesn't say crisp i do it all at the same time you just need to like try and find things that cook at roughly the same time or put the one that takes a bit longer in first so i would normally put the chips in the bottom just because i like my chips a little bit overdone especially if i'm using oven chips i put them in first and then I picked this up from the pound shop from Poundland. I think you can get them everywhere. This is a new one, but I actually had one at home that I used to use in my oven for chips. And I just cut it into a circle. It's literally as easy as that. I just use regular kitchen scissors. It's really easy to cut. And then what I can do is I can put my chips in the bottom, layer this on top, like so, with my burgers. Now, it does mean that this will touch the chips, but it's fine, I just take it out every so often and give it a little shake and do you know what? It works just as well. The only thing I will say is with these, like with the new one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but the corners are a little bit raised, which is actually really good. So I try to make use of one of the corners and just cut sort of on the side of the one that I had. Um, just so I can use this little bit with some tongs to help me easily lift it out. I wish I'd cut this one a little bit bigger because this actually fits exactly in my foodie. Whereas if it had a little bit more surface area, I could like curve it upwards and then use the ends to be able to pull it out. But this works really well for me. I just have to be really careful that I don't burn myself when I try and get it out. But it just means I can cook two things at once, press the start button, walk away, do whatever I need to do, and then 15, 20 minutes later, however long it takes, just come back and dinner or lunch is cooked. So that's really good. And these, I mean, this was literally a pound. I can't imagine they cost more than that, but um, all the bits from Poundland, I will show you. I literally bought them last week and they were all one pound each. So that's really good. So aside from the crisping basket, my Ninja also came with these two racks. I think they all do. It took me ages to figure out how these actually work, but, but so you take this one and you take the top one this way and it's got, if you notice on, if you notice on the smaller one, the lines on the end are not straight, they're curved and that is to help it click in place. It took me so long to figure this out, but you slide it in one at a time. I really hope you can see what I'm doing if I don't mess this up. There we go. And it literally just clicks in place. So that way this doesn't drop while you're cooking and smush whatever you have on the bottom because you might have like say sausages or burgers on the bottom or stuffed mushrooms and you don't want this sticking to it and then falling through. The other thing I have done is I sometimes line these with foil and if I am cooking stuffed mushrooms because I normally stuff them with couscous and then that just makes a big mess everywhere. And so if I don't hit myself in the face, 
I just cut the foil to a little bit bigger than whatever it is I'm cooking because you still want the air to be able to circulate so I wouldn't like cover the whole thing with foil because the underneath won't get cooked as well so I will literally just cut the foil to like a little bit bigger than the surface area of the mushroom and just plop it on there and yeah so these are really handy it's a bit of a shame though I think that neither of these fit inside this because then that would be really good for creating an extra layer I have seen a lot of American people they buy something similar to this and I think it's oh, I can't remember the name of it but it looks really good because it has like really small squares it has lines on both sides which means stuff you're going to cook isn't going to fall through because I know a lot of people I've seen videos where they say that like bacon sometimes falls through or whatever you're like grilling or cooking if it's really small so it would be handy if Ninja made stuff like this and if it fit inside the basket but it doesn't so I also picked this up from Poundland and it's called a cooking liner I believe this is just like a sheet of greaseproof paper but it's reusable and so if you wanted to you could just cut this to the size of your basket or your rack and if you wanted to like I don't know what you would really use this for but if you wanted to just grill something or air fry something really quickly and you just didn't want to wash the whole basket out because if you also don't have a dishwasher like me it is a pain like washing this and the trivet which does come off and also the big pot inside especially when you're cooking for two people it's just a nightmare so i thought this was a really good option especially if you want to be a bit environmentally friendly and not use foil or actual greaseproof paper that's reusable i should have also started this video by saying that i know ninja actually sell a lot of accessories that you can use it's not easy to find on their website i have to say i couldn't search for them that easily and i think they're reasonably priced but it's not going to be as cheap as the pound shop obviously and i have seen people using things like these trays like sandwich tins or square ones i think you have to make sure they're 18 centimeters if you buy the seven and a half liter like i have i measured my pot and it was really weird because it, i think it's 20 cent 22 centimeters and the diameter of the frying basket is 20 centimeters but when i bought a square pan that was 20 centimeters it wouldn't fit i found this in poundland again it was pound and it's an 18 centimeter non-stick sandwich tin i can't imagine it's the best quality the say you just wanted to roast some carrots for example you can either just put this in here and roast it and that means you just have to wash the little tray inside which is great or you could just pop it onto this put it inside your big pot and just roast whatever you wanted to roast if it was a bit deeper you could actually make like a round lasagna or a shepherd's pie would work cottage pie whatever um, and then it just means you have to wash this i also picked up these foil containers from poundland two different sizes i don't know if this size will actually fit but again they were a pound a pack and don't use a lid obviously because i think it's like cardboard or plastic or whatever but the actual containers are foil so you can like cook portions of your lasagna in these for example stack them cook them and then just wait for them to cool pop the lid on and freeze like batches of it if you wanted to for example obviously i haven't tried it because mine are brand new let me just see actually if the big ones fit oh yeah yeah the big ones fit perfectly they just stick them in there there's a bit of room too so i know that's not the most environmentally friendly option because these are not reusable i also bought these i've never seen these before actually these are foil flam trays you can make like a quiche or yep and again i've just tested it these fit perfectly so let me just give you an example of what you could cook because i guess that would be really helpful so you'd get the trivet off the air frying uh, basket and then you'd put that into the bottom of the big pot in here, put the water in first, then you could get this sandwich tin, put your like potatoes in if they're thinly sliced or carrots, for example. Then you would put this on top. So you haven't got much room, but you could put something quite thin in there. Then you'd get this and you could put like your chicken or I don't know, like your potatoes in here, for example. And then right on top of the potatoes, like a lid, you could put one of these trays. So imagine the potatoes are here, put one of these trays. And then you could put your parsnips, your cabbage, your pie, your quiche. Do you cook quiche? I don't know how to make quiche. You put whatever you want in here. And then you've still got so much more room. So then on top of that, oh, I've just 
flung it across the room. You could pop this on and that, I don't know, you could put some like frozen veg to steam. I don't, I don't know, like I'm just giving you examples. I haven't done it, but I know it will work. Okay, so that is four different layers of food that you can cook at the same time. Just make sure the cooking times are like similar. But the other thing to bear in mind is if you're air frying or like grilling, you need to use this lid and just don't like stuff the machine because the lid won't fit. <laughs> so just be warned that you can't go higher than the height of the pot. But if you're pressure cooking or steaming, you use this lid because of like the concave shape of the lid you have like a little bit of room, I'd say maybe half an inch. And so you can, if your pot does sit a little bit higher, that's fine. It's just, the only thing I would say is when you put your lid on, your pressure valve is at the back of the machine. So try and push whatever's on top forward. Um, just so that you're not blocking the valve, because I just, I just don't know how that works. But I've tried it, I've layered things and it's completely fine. It's just great that because of the shape of the lid, you could just shove a little bit more in there. Now, bearing in mind, this would probably only work if you're cooking for like two to four people. I imagine that if you're cooking for six or more, you're going to cook like a bigger quantity of things and then you won't get as many layers in. But for two to four people, I think it works really well. Okay, so the very last hack that I have, which is actually one that I use all the time now, are these oh, stainless steel containers. I've borrowed these from my aunt, but if you live in an Indian household, you will have millions of these. My mum and my gran have them in all different sizes. Some of them are like, they come up to my hip, that that's how tall they are. All different like diameters and heights and stuff. But these are like just two that I've borrowed. I couldn't tell you what size they are. I have absolutely no idea. Size 11, this one says. But I use this one quite a lot because this one fits inside my foodie and I cook rice in it because if I'm cooking rice for two people, I don't want to wash out that big pot. Like how much rice am I cooking? Like half a cup's worth, maybe one cup. And so what I do is I put my rice and water in this pot. I use this as a trivet. Can you even see this? And then just plop this on top, put water in the bottom and pressure cook my rice. I'm not going to show you how to cook rice because I haven't perfected it in the foodie yet. That's the one thing that so far, I just prefer cooking the traditional way. But I know that cooking rice is very controversial because every culture and nationality has their own way of doing it. So I'm not gonna tell you how I cook rice because I just don't know how to do it in this yet. But you could put anything in there. You can make like savory Indian food in here that you need to steam. You could make like your chicken, you could put pies, whatever. Like your veg that needs steaming, anything that you want, you could just use that for and then Obviously, all you need to do is wash this out. I just give this a quick rinse just because it's been sitting in like pressure, cook it, pressure cooked water in the pot. But it's not really necessary. And I really like that method of doing pot in pot cooking because the other day I made a dal in here. I like sauteed like my onions and spices and stuff, added the lentils and the water and then put the stand in as a trivet and then put rice in here and then pressure cook the whole thing and the rice was cooked and so was the dal. It wasn't perfect, but that was quicker than me cooking the rice separately on the hob. So that's also an option. You could do curries, dals, stews, anything that you want and just stick it in there. So one more hack that I have, I don't actually have in front of me to show you, but I really want to buy this is when you pressure cook and you quick release the steam, I hope you can, yeah, you'll be able to see it. So when you pressure cook and you quick release steam, the steam just shoots straight up. And at the moment, I have my machine by a window and it's not ideal because I actually, that's not like free counter space. I've just put it there for when I'm filming videos because it doesn't fit underneath my kitchen cabinets. But I know people have like ruined kitchen cabinets, especially like hand painted ones and stuff like that. And I'm a bit worried about like the steam is so powerful and it just shoots right up. And I know some people get like a wooden chopping board to cover their hob and then put this on the hob and then use the extractor fan but my extractor fan doesn't work and I don't have enough clearance to do all that. So something I've seen online is a steam divert and it's not like a Ninja product. It's not sold by Ninja, like any of these are not like affiliated with Ninja. But it's literally just a plastic thing that I think sits on the vent and it, ha it kind of like 
is an L shape. So you can have this, like, you can turn it around to basically divert the steam in any which way that you want. And I think that's a really good idea because currently, like I said, my, my Ninja's by a window. I do open the window when I let the steam out, but it doesn't go out the window, it just shoots straight up. And so I would direct it towards the window. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy one of those and I'll put the link down below um, to let you know where I bought it from because they're not like made by Ninja, they're like less than a fiver, I think. I just think it's something really handy to have. But yeah, so I'll leave a link down below and let you know where I bought that from. But those were all my accessories. There is just one little hack that I want to show you. I'm not taking credit for this because it's not my own hack. So when you have your air fryer basket oh, in here like so, you're not gonna be able to see both handles, but don't worry. And obviously it's gonna be too hot to take out once you've cooked something. You take this rack, the one that kind of folds in a little bit, put the two flat ends like so. So you basically just pop it. You just line it up with the handles of your basket. So my handles for my basket are just here, where the two flat bits are and you lift. That's as easy as that. And you just bring them back, fold the legs back, and there we go. But anyway, those are all the hacks and accessories that I have to show you. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and thank you so much for all the love on all the cooking videos that I've uploaded this year. I just figured that we're back in lockdown. All we're doing is cooking at the moment, right? It's just me. Um, so I just thought I'd share some of my recipes and show you the bits that I'm cooking. So I really hope you're still enjoying those. But if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.